Hi everybody, my name is Matt Lighty, and today I want to take a few minutes to talk to you about a pet peeve of mine, and that is photographers out there who sell digital files. Uh, I see over and over again all kinds of little mini sessions where I'm going to do uh, a half hour mini shoot. I will give you five or ten digital files. Uh, I'll give you print rights. I'll give you all kinds of things, and I'm going to charge you $150. Um, and this sounds like an awesome business idea at the very beginning because you think, well, you know, if I can get two clients in, that's $300 an hour. That's a pretty good hourly rate. And all I've got to do is shoot a couple pictures, give them some digital files, and I send them on their way. Uh, the problem with that is, as a photographer, it's a, not a sustainable business model. And what I find is when you're doing this, you're leaving money on the table. And I don't know about you, but as a photographer, like I love to photograph things. I love to photograph people. And I also like money. And I also know that I want to do this for the long term and I want to stay in business. And one of the ways you do that is by not giving everything away. When you're giving away or selling digital files, what you're doing is you're basically giving up complete control of your art. Uh, and that, that makes no sense to me as a photographer. Now, granted, I'm a bit of a control freak. And as a photographer, you really should be too. Like your images are everything. They are your reputation. Of course, there's a lot of things that come into play, your personality, your customer service skills, those type of things. But at the end of the day, it's your product that's going to be in someone's home or on someone's phone or something like that. And if you're not in total control, they can take that digital file. They can adjust the white balance or the color on that. They can, you know, put crazy filters on it. They can do all kinds of stuff to manipulate your images. And you're basically left powerless with when you're giving away your files like that. Um, and again, you're leaving money on the table. Uh, why do I say that? Well, as a photographer, you know, we used to live and die by the print. Now, this is a, you know, this is on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, but it's an eight by 10 print. So if I'm selling a digital file, well, this can go out the window because I can't sell them a print because they're gonna take their own digital file and go make their own digital print somewhere. Now, that's okay, that's fine, right? It sounds like something that they might wanna be able to do. The problem is you have no control over where they're going to get this printed. So are they gonna get this printed uh, at you know, a big name retailer? Are they gonna go get it printed at a professional photo lab? Or are they just gonna print it on their home printer? The second you give them the digital file, you have no idea what the image quality is gonna look like. I guarantee you, if you took the same image file and went to three big box stores, you're gonna come back with three completely different looking prints. And you don't want that because as soon as this print goes on the wall and it's all out of color, they're gonna be like, oh, who did this? Oh, Matt Lady Photography took this. And you know, the discerning eye might look at that and think, oh, that's okay, that's cool. Someone else is gonna come along and go, wow, the colors are just whack on that print. Like, why do they look like that? Like, I'm not going there. But when you are the one who sells the print, you have complete control. Now, this one was printed on an Epson SC900 photo printer. Uh, I do a lot of proofing and printing of my own work on that printer just so I can see what the quality is going to look like. But then when my customers order, I generally order from a professional photo lab. And that way I guarantee I have archival quality prints that will last, you know, essentially a client's lifetime. So, okay, awesome. I just sold an 8x10 print. And I'm not going to go into the pricing of the print right now, but you know, this could be anywhere from $25 to $200, $300, depending on your pricing. But it doesn't stop there. Because if I sold them a digital file, okay, cool, I don't get to sell this. But I also can sell them something like this. This is an 8x10 curved metal print. Now, the colors really pop. You probably get some reflections on this, but this is something that's a little bit more difficult to go to a big box store and get a print on. But I can charge a premium for something like this because it's high quality. It's something you can't get everywhere. And, you know, it's curved and it's metal and it's cool. Oh, but you know what else I can do? If I can sell them this and I can sell them this. So maybe they want this for home and this for grandma or grandpa or cousin, mom, dad, whatever. So now that one digital file that I gave away has cost me these two prints. I might sell this for $150. I might sell this for $450. It just depends on what your pricing model is. But I hope you're seeing what I'm alluding to right here is that if you're selling a digital file, 
you're losing out on a ton of revenue, a ton of income, and that's what helps fund your business. So you need to be selling products, not just digital files. Now, can you give them a digital file? Sure. What I do is after a customer places a minimum order, I'll give you the option to either buy the digital file or I may just give you the digital file. Just depends on what kind of session we're doing and, and the work we're doing. Because of course you want you get your files out there on social media and you want people to share them. So I'm not against digital files, but what you need to be doing is making sure you're monetizing those images before you just give everything away. Let's talk about the customer service aspect as a photographer. So when you hand your clients a thumb drive or a link to a Dropbox folder with, you know, five or 10 or 15 or 20 or 30 images in there, you have now placed all the onus and emphasis on them to do the work. And as a photographer, as a professional photographer, that's not good. Like you should be serving your clients. If you want clients for life, you make photographing them easy. You make purchasing easy. Start going the extra mile and start learning how to produce quality photographic prints. Your revenues will skyrocket just from having tangible products available for purchase. Your customers are gonna get amazing service from you. They're gonna have a great time during their photo session, getting their pictures taken. They're gonna remember that experience. Then they're gonna come back and they're gonna pick up these beautiful prints and they're gonna remember them for a lifetime. And they're gonna be so thankful that you did all the work and they get to enjoy the satisfaction of having these luxurious photographic prints. It doesn't stop at just prints or metal prints or acrylic prints. Make sure you get albums in the mix, books, calendars, cards. There's so many things you can do besides just prints. And if you're just selling a digital file, you have lost out on all the revenue from all those different products. Please feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll be happy to try to help you on your photographic journey. If that's trying to learn how to make prints, everything involved with prints, if you wanna know more about how you go from a file to a finished print, the workflows, those type of things, I'd be happy to do a video on that. Uh, if you want to leave me some feedback there.